I always say that I, I know that God placed me on this earth to be Nick's mom. In 2003, I was in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. On our way back to the airport, I started having contractions. And I'm just thinking, it is way too early. Like, I was only six and a half months pregnant. But three hours later, he was born. There was no diagnosis at the time. Cerebral palsy is not diagnosed until later in life when they start missing all their milestones, like pulling up on his feet, rolling, anything like that. I figured out if Nicholas is gonna get a job, especially with him being in a wheelchair, it's very limited for him. So I just thought to myself, I need to help him come up with a business to do. And Nick loves baking cupcakes and cookies and stuff like that. And we have a dog named Hemi. And I said, why don't we make something that you want to make for a business? And that was just how we thought about dog mm -hmm. treats. Dog approved. It makes me feel like really happy that I I open up this tomorrow and it's called my my dog treats. I like making um deliveries. I I give them to all the people and I tell them all the stuff that's in them. He can do every single thing that any other non-disabled person can do. He just needs help. I admire Nick like crazy. I've only met him a handful of times, but every time I have, his drive just to be successful and to do what he can, it's amazing. If you have a passion for something, if you have that desire and that drive, you can do anything that you want to do, and I just really commend him for that. I, you know, I guess I would just say, yeah, amongst the disability, everybody has abilities. Give people a shot. Don't discount them because of their disability, and they'll amaze you, I feel like. I know that there's so many people out there that have that same drive and desire, and they just need to be given the opportunity. When I see people with special needs get out in the workforce, they are so excited and so proud of themselves and so excited to be a part of the community and so excited to have a job. We are sending all over the United States. We've sent to Alaska, California, I mean everywhere. Right now we're just making our dog treats in our house. My hope is that by the time he graduates, we will have a business that people can actually come to and we can hire other individuals with disabilities as they're graduating high school. If we opened up a dog treat store, if some more people can work for me, that would be really nice.